Today we are warming up on 109 in Essential Elements, Book 1, and then we're going to be moving to 115 to practice for our test on number 115. Um, I have two students here today helping me out. They're going to say hi. 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 And I apologize because I'm playing a viola and using a cello bow because we use what's available. All right, here we go. We're going to warm up on number 109. If you are not unpacked yet, pause this video, unpack, and then start it up again. All right, here we go, number 109. And we're going to be slurring down then up two notes. Just D and first finger E. Here we go. One and two, and here we go. D. Let's do that one more time and then we're going to move to number 115. Last time warming up by number 109. One and two and here we go. Switch number 115. All right, so now what we're going to do to warm up to, for number 115 is just practice crossing strings from the A to the D and then back again. And we're going to insert some rests in between each slur. So, as an example, this is how it's going to sound just A to D with rests in between. So, A, D, rest, rest, D, A, rest, same thing. A, D, rest, rest, D, A. Okay, and we'll repeat that a couple times. You ready to try it with me? Make sure you're sitting up straight and tall with your best bow hold. You're up on the front half of your chair with your tuchus, and you don't have a grandma or grandpa back. All right, fix your best bow hold, your best positioning. Here we go. Just open A and open D, practicing our slurring pattern. One, two, and here we go. A, D, rest, rest. D, A, rest, rest, A, D, two more times, here we go, rest, rest, last time go, rest, 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 great job. Okay, so now we're going to practice putting this music into practice. We're going to use our same rest, rest pattern, except for now we're going to do it in between each slur of number 115. So for every two beats, we'll have a rest, rest. So this is how it will sound. A, D, rest, rest, D, A, change, fingers. A, D, rest, rest, E, A, change, fingers. A, F, F, <laughs> see it, but my kids are doing the bowings behind me uh, with, <laughs> with me. It's pretty cute. Okay, so now let's do it together. Get in your best play position. Make sure that you're sitting up straight and tall. Your tuchus is on the front half of your chair. You have your best bow hold. No grandma, grandpa backs. Okay, remember going to put those rests in. One, two, here we go. Rest, rest. Rest, change. Rest, Rest, change here, rest, rest, change fingers, rest, rest, half notes, rest, 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 rest. rest. All right, let's do that one more time. 
And then we're going to start putting it together with our slurs. So let's do it one more time with our rest, rest pattern. Okay? So instruments up, getting in our best playing position, making sure that we're holding our instrument on our shoulder and not dropping it down or having it down on our chest. Uh, best bow hold, sitting up straight and tall. Here we go. Rest, rest pattern one more time. One, two, here we go. Rest, rest, up, up. Now down. Rest, rest, uh -huh. Rest, rest, a -M. Shh, shh. Go ahead, it's all right. Shh, shh. Now half notes. Two, rest, rest. Rest, rest. Okay, so now that we've done that with two rests in between, before we jump straight into doing it with no rests at all, now we're going to do it with one rest in between. All right, now we're going to do it with one rest in between. So just as an example, we're going to sound like this. A, D, rest. D, A, change. A, E, rest. E, A, change. Rest. Change. Okay? Now, we're doing this in order to give ourselves just a little bit less time to change fingers and get our bow started up again before we go to no wrists at all. Um, so we're just doing a little in-between step. This is a good practice method for you to try, making sure that you know what you're supposed to be doing. And if you're having a little bit of trouble putting it all together, start going backwards. Put one rest in it. If you're still having trouble, put two rests in it. All right, so let's do it together, number 115, all the way through, with one rest in between every two beats. So between each slur, we're going to have one rest. One, two, three. Ready, here we go. Rest. 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 Rest, two, rest. All right, let's do that one more time, and then we're going to start um, putting it together, okay? One more time with one rest. So sit up straight and tall, your best position, best bow hold, no grandma, grandpa backs. Here we go. One, two, three. Rest. 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 Okay, so now we're going to practice doing it all together, and uh, in between recording takes, we actually did a dance party to the Beatles all together now, so we're going to do it really quick for the, for the ladies helping me. Ready? All together now, all together now. Okay, okay. So now we're going to play it all together, and we're not going to put any rests in there. We're going to just go straight through it, changing our fingers really quickly, and making sure that we have our best posture and position. Okay. Sit up straight and tall. All right, here we go. We're going to do it three times. One, and go, and. Okay, that was one time. We're going to do it two more times. If you had any kind of faltering or you felt like you weren't really doing a great job on that one, you can always go back and try doing it with one rest in between or with two rests in between. Okay. Two more times. Sit up straight and tall. Use your best posture and your best bow position. Make sure you don't have a grandma or grandpa back. Here we go. One and two. And here we go. <laughs> happen. Let's try it again last time. Remember, if you need extra help on this before your test, or if you need extra help on this after your test, you can always come back and watch the video and play along with me and learn some of our practice techniques, okay? Here we go. Let's try it again all the way through. Focus really hard. 
practice like you're playing your test. So make sure that you have a great bow hold, really nice curved thumb, nice rainbow pinky, not a flat pinky, okay? And make sure you're sitting up straight and tall. Your left hand thumb, if you're a violinist or viola, should be pointing to the sky, remember? All right, here we go. Let's try it. A one and a two. Here we go. And... to practice and I hope that you uh, play this video multiple multiple times and uh, practice each time getting it perfect. All right have a great day.